Hey, Radu here. In this video, we'll talk about project calendars. We'll see how they impact our planning, how we can change and modify them, and also how we can use a project calendar across multiple projects. Let's start. Calendars are pretty baked in into projects. We have project calendars, we have task calendars, we have resource calendars. So it's not something that you can opt out or not use. It's more like uh, if you don't change anything, you're going to use the standard calendars that, uh, that we have in project. Now, if you go into this uh, tab here, I have this option called change working time where I can see what's the project calendar for this project. And we see that this is the standard calendar uh, allocated in which I'm um, working from Monday to Friday, eight hours a day, and I'm not working in the weekends. Radu, why do I need to bother about this subject into project? Because sometimes I want something a bit more different. Maybe I want to be working on Saturdays or maybe I want to work like 10 hours a day. Uh, it depends. And by changing the settings here in the calendar, I will be able to do just that. But let's just uh, create a new calendar. I'm going to want to be, I want to work on Saturdays uh, for eight hours a day. And I also want to um, have the bank holidays as days off. So I know I won't be planning something in a day off. Now let's have like standard plus Saturday as a, as the name. Usually I don't want to change the default calendar. When I do something different, I create a new one and make a copy of standard and click OK. Uh, by the way, we have like three default calendars in project, like 24 hours in which I'm working around the clock. I have the night shift in which I think only Saturdays or Sundays are off and also have this standard one. So let's go back to this, uh, this one that I just created. First of all, I want to be working on Saturdays. So I'm going to go into the work weeks and I have here the default and go into the details. And here I can change the way I'm working. For example, Sunday uh, should be off, but I'm going to say uh, Saturday, I will be working from nine to whatever, to nine to four, or no, or actually it's nine to five. <laughs> yeah, it's feel like one, uh, yeah, five, uh, eight hours is nine to five. No break no nothing okay so that's the uh the schedule that i'm uh, setting here i can i can also change the number of hours i have here for each and every day if i want to do this in this case it's very interesting to see that i have four hours then a break and then four more hours good click ok if i go back and look at this calendar i see now the saturday is no longer grayed out so that was the first thing that i wanted to do uh, to change and make Saturday as a working day. The second one is to take into account uh, the bank holidays. And for example, in Romania, the 1st of December is a day off. So I'm, I want to make sure that this um, day, let's say 1st of December, it's actually is, it's more like 13th of November and 1st of December is like two days. So I'm going to put here two days of non-working time, 30 and the first. So this is how you can also set bank holidays for your project. And we also see uh, this highlighted here. Now, uh, if I click OK, I'm trying to click OK now. It's pretty hard because I can, I can, I no longer see the OK button, but I clicked enter. So it's the same thing. I will see that nothing changes. Uh, if I look at the Gantt, this will show me um, still that Saturday is a day as a, is a day off, not a working day. That is because I still haven't changed the project calendar. I created it, but I haven't set this calendar as a default for this project. Let's do this. I'm going to use the project information option and I'm going to use the calendar as the standard dot plus Saturday and click OK. Another thing happens. Uh, they get rescheduled, the tasks get rescheduled. I think the project gets a little bit shorter because I'm not working on Saturdays. Uh, but the Gantt still shows me that Saturday is a day off. So 
to do this I have to just right click here and to change you know to make sure that um, only Sunday is displayed as a day off I just have to go into non-working time and to change the calendar here calendar plus uh, standard plus Saturday and let's have like a brief text uh, test here for example I'm recording this in a Friday so I'm gonna have it like a task that is like two days and as you can see um, project made this work also on Saturday so it's pretty much okay from our side now the settings for these calendars and the way I use it with tasks are pretty are very granular I mean I can have a calendar for the entire project but maybe I need this uh, test to be on a different calendar not the, the one with the Saturday so I can use this and change it into the standard one and then click OK and it will go until Monday okay if I want to be like very confused can, I, can, I can use this like like this I can have most of the tasks in one calendar but specific tasks I can have um, I can have them on another calendar this is the same with, with resources if I go into the resource sheet I have here the calendar like the base calendar of course this is for um, work resources because if I'm talking about materials and costs there's no calendar to be have to be had uh, over there so I can use for example if the on the excavator can have it like uh, uh, 24 hours is working non-stop because I have multiple people so that's the the thing I can uh, use calendars at the project level task level resource level and this obviously will impact the duration the cost of the task because it's one thing to have like a task that like a task that has like um, I don't know, five hours of working time well, not, not five hours maybe like 20 hours of working time if I put it into night shift it's much shorter than if I put it into standard in which I'm working from Monday to Friday okay last but not least is uh, let's talk about how we can save a calendar and use it uh, on multiple projects because maybe I just customized I made like a template of a calendar that I want to use everywhere so uh, to do this to be able to use it on multiple projects I'm gonna go into the project organizer because this is like the global template and I have here multiple things that I, I can copy to the global template um, but I'm looking at calendars right now and for example what I want to do is to copy this one into the global MPT so what this means if I copy this I'm gonna close it and also save it and then I'm gonna open project again And let's see if we can find that calendar over there so for example I'm going to into project project information I should see here standard plus Saturday so it's a completely different project I just created this like a blank project but I have access to that calendar that I created in the separate one without having to do anything else just opening and I just had to copy uh, that into the global template that was it i hope you learned something new and if yes i wouldn't mind if you click the like button if you want more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one